Hello everybody and welcome to this new replay analysis. Today I'm going to show you a game I've played yesterday against Namira Persia, uh, who's playing as black in this video, about 500 ELO on, on board game arena. And I've selected this game for you because my opponent was very aggressive with black and I reacted with a defensive setup to create some kind of trap and I thought it was very good for you to know this kind of situation because it's extremely powerful. Um, so without further ado, we'll, let's begin with the game. Black is going to be quite aggressive with three walls early in the game. Um, this opener is pretty good. Just for your information, it's something very usual I see uh, online. And what happens most of the time is that white decides to pull back and black tries to control the space even more. and it often leads to a situation like this, with white having 10 walls, black 5, um, but black had a better space control and white has more walls to mess up with black, so this kind of situation is rather interesting, but this is not uh, what we're going to see today, because I'm going to place this defensive wall, and you're going to see in a couple of seconds why it's so important. Black moves forward, I move backward, and black decides to control the left hand side with this wall so obviously i cannot go there because um, black would close with a single wall and i would be forced to go the other way around um, so i decide to play along and just move to the right now you may think that this last movement was a big mistake from me um, because with a single wall black can close here and look at the space I have to travel to reach the objective while it's much shorter for black. Now you would be right in your situation like this because I think in this kind of setup white loses the game but this is not the situation we are seeing because with this wall I can defend like this and now the space I have to mess up with black is not only this, but this plus this, which is enormous. Black cannot do anything about this uh, left hand side exit. I can always find a way to close it. Those eight walls I have are only as valuable as the space I have to play the end of the game. That's really, really the key point of this video. So black is going to try to do an aggressive move, but it's not going to be very helpful. I think this was uh, one of the biggest mistakes uh, black did because it's more a pain uh, to him that it is really annoying me. I decide to close the left hand side and with the end game, I have six walls, now five, and black has one. So this is over for black. Um, I did not play the end game perfectly but you see that I really have the potential to extend the path of black as much as I want and I did not play perfect. Look here, black is gonna jump over me but I, I don't really care because the advantage I have at this point is so huge that um, the game the game is over. 